Sharon here. Welcome to the channel, Your Guitar Guide, where I'm going to help you find your sound with guitar lessons, music, and gear reviews. If this is your first time here, have a look around. If you like what you see, consider subscribing for more guitar tips and tricks. And for everyone else that's already subscribed, thank you very much. Today, I want to show you how you can take open chords and move them up the neck. And that's coming up. What I want to show you is where you can take chords like C, A minor, F, and G, and you don't have to arpeggiate it. You can strum the chords. I'm going to show you each individual chord, then I'm going to show you how to play it up the neck here. So the C chord is like this right here. And by the way, if you want to learn how to arpeggiate a chord, check that video out right there. On the C chord, you put your first finger at the first fret of the second string, the B string. Skip a string, and now we're on the D string at the second fret with your second finger, and then stretch way over here to the third fret of the fifth string. That's the C chord. Then the next chord would be an A minor. So leave your first finger at the first fret of the second string. Move your third finger to the G string, the third string on the second fret, and your Second finger is going to be on the D string at the second fret of the fourth string. So while you're playing the A minor chord, you're also going to pick the A string, which is the fifth string. Now you could strum it. The next chord is the F chord. So you're going to place your first finger over the first two strings on the first fret. Bar it there. Your second finger is going to be on the third string, second fret. And third finger on the D string, the fourth string, third fret. I also have a video if you have problems with F chords, check that video out. That should help you out. Different ways to play the F chord. You could bar it here. So you're barring all the strings on the first fret. And then your third finger is on the fifth string, third fret. Right under it, at the third fret, fourth string, is your pinky. And then Second finger is going to be on the G string, which is the third string at the second fret. Or you could play it like that, which is a lot easier. So, so far we've got... And then we're just playing a regular G. So let's just strum those C. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to have the tab for this, which will have the chord progression and how to make all these chords. So check that out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Or we're going to strum it. C, two, three, four, it's A minor, F, G. Or you could just do all down strums. One, two, three, four. A minor. One, two, three, four. F. One, two, three, four. G. One, two, three, four. But that might get a little boring. So 
let's take the C and play it here. The way you can remember this is it connects with this low C is going to be the root for this C chord. which is on the 5th string at the 3rd fret. Same notes, but they're in different orders. And then the next chord we had here was an A minor. So let's find an A minor up the neck here. We know that the 5th fret of the 6th string is an A. And it would help if you knew where all the notes were up and down the neck, which I can help you with that over at yourguitarguide.com. Check out the courses there. But for right now, we're going to play the A minor on the 5th fret of the 6th string. So what we're doing is you're going to bar with your first finger on the 5th fret. And one way to make it easier to play this is if you play it with your finger over the top of the guitar neck, this part of your finger will be actually playing that notes on the uh, fourth string. If you're down here, doesn't want to ring out. So bring that finger up and the fatty part of your finger, keep it straight, will be playing that fourth string. Then the third finger is going to be on the fifth string at the uh, seventh fret. And right under that, is your pinky on the seventh fret, fourth string. So now, see how this is over the, my first finger is over the top of the guitar? So that's the A minor. So what I've got is C. A minor, F, G, or we've got C, A minor, now we need an F, which is right here, which is the same shape as this C right here which is part of the cage system. If you can remember the A up here, you play it like this. You don't need to bar anything because the nut acts like the bar. So just move it up here. So that's the C. We're going to go up here to the 8th fret of the 5th string with your first finger. And then you're barring strings 4, 3, 2. So we've got Now we just need a G, which we know that the G, the low G is on the 6th string. If we were going to bar it, that would be a G, but an easier G is just like this F up here, but move it up to the 3rd fret. 
So we're playing the first two strings on the third fret, your second fingers on the fourth fret on the G string, and your third fingers on the D string on the fifth fret. So we're playing. So this way you can play songs, the same chords, but up the neck in different chord voices and it'll sound different and you're not just stuck in the same open chords. But if you like this lesson, can you leave me a comment and let me know. And be sure and check out the link below where I'll have the tab for this lesson. And thanks and stay safe. Don't forget to watch that video next. Thanks.